Hello everyone and welcome to Creating with Class, Crafty Lessons and Simple Steps with Linda Wirt. I'm Linda and today I will be showing you how to do a sleeve design that you can put on any particular sweatshirt, regular button down shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, uh, whatever kind of sleeve you would like to embellish. The first thing I'd like to do is show you this particular design that I created with this t-shirt. I just got an, a long sleeve t-shirt and uh, put snowflakes down the sleeve to add a little compliment to the front design that I made. Now you can do this on any shirt that has long sleeves and the length of the design will vary based on the size of the shirt and the length of the sleeve. So the first step you need to do is measure the sleeve and you need to do that from the shoulder seam all the way down to the wrist. Once you have that measurement, subtract six inches and that will help you center the design. You wanna make sure you have enough space on the top of the shoulder from the start of the design and you want a little extra space on the bottom so when a person is resting their, their wrist or the lower part of their arm on a table or chair or something like that, it's not going to rub against the design and irritate it in any way. So that's step number one. Once you have the length of your sleeve that you want to put the design on, you're going to go into Design Space and click New Project. Click on Shapes and Square. Now you have the length of the sleeve. The width of the design I usually try to keep to about two and a half inches. Otherwise it'll wrap too far around the arm, especially if you're going to put a word down the sleeve. Uh, it's going to be more difficult to read. So I would stick to about two and a half inches wide. You can go slightly larger, but I wouldn't go too much larger than that. So click your little lock and unlock it and then change your width to 2.5 and my sleeve was 24 inches, so subtract six from that, and I have an 18 inch length design. Once you have that in there, you can go ahead and lock that, and that gives you the space that you have to design with. You can, if you'd like, go over here and change the color to the color of the shirt that you're actually going to be working with, kind of giving you a little bit more perspective of what it's going to look like when it is completed. Then I'm going to Images, and you can search uh, the Cricut Access and Design Space Library for different images. And like I did on my shirt, we're going to do snowflakes. So search snowflakes. And you'll see I have over a thousand different snowflakes to choose from. That is because I have a Cricut Access membership. So I, you know, have already purchased and can, you know, use whatever designs I would like. If you do not have a Cricut Access membership, click on ownership and then click free. And then you'll see what designs are free that you can use uh, without a Cricut Access membership. But since I have one, I'm going to unclick free so I can see all the different snowflakes that I can use. Now, whenever I'm making a shirt, I always try to work smarter than harder. I'm not a big fan of weeding, so therefore I try to find designs that do not require a lot of weeding and tedious work. So looking at these snowflakes, I'm trying to look at ones that don't have a lot of open, intricate spots that I'm going to have to pick the vinyl out after I've cut it. So right here, this catches my eye because none of these are going to require weeding inside of the snowflakes. So I'm going to click on that and insert that image onto my canvas. Now obviously I don't want three different color snowflakes, so I'm going to just quickly go over here and change that to white. And then if you recall on my shirt, one of them was silver. So I'm going to highlight this, and I do like this little one here that I think would be a nice accent. And so therefore I'm going to pick that particular snowflake and I'm going to make it silver. All right, so now I have these trio of snowflakes that I really like, and I'm going to go ahead and put that right on top of my rectangle and therefore you can see what it kind of looks like one on top of the other okay now I'm going to just repeat this pattern I'm going to hit duplicate and I'm going to bring it down but I don't want it to look like the same design just stamped one right after the other so I'm going to go up to here where it says flip and I'm going to flip it horizontally to give it a little bit more variety as you're looking at the full uh, full design then I'm going to hit duplicate Duplicate again, hit Arrange, Flip Horizontal, and bring that down just below it. Once again, Duplicate, Flip Horizontally, and then move it down below. Duplicate, Flip Horizontally, and move it down below. 
duplicate, flip horizontally, and move down below. All right, so it looks like if I space these down a little bit further, I'll have a nice little design here. All right, so that gives me a great design for my full sleeve, and it's a repeated pattern, but it looks a little bit more random by flipping it horizontally back and forth. Now that I have this design, I can now get rid of the rectangle behind it. So I'm going to go over here and hide that. And next, I notice, you know, because I have an 18-inch long design, there's no way I can press 18 inches uh, in one press. My press, you know, I would probably use maybe the 9-inch one. So therefore, I want to make sure my design is nine in, no longer than 9 inches so I can press it in two presses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight and group and attach snowflakes together that are going to be less than 9 inches. So I have an 8.931. So I'm going to take this group and I'm going to group them together. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to take this set and I'm going to group them together. Now in order to keep these snowflakes in the arrangement that I have already have, I need to attach them. Otherwise if I go to the canvas and then go to Cricut, you'll notice it takes all the snowflakes and moves them to save space with my vinyl. So I don't want to do that. I want to keep them in the pattern that I just made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this particular group of snowflakes and I'm going to hit attach. And I'm going to do the same with this group and I'm going to hit attach. But you notice when you attach, all the colors change to one color. And I don't want that. I want that one snowflake to be silver. So I'm going to highlight this group and I'm going to take one snowflake, this one right here, and I'm going to find it over here and I'm going to hide it. And every snowflake that is tiny like that, I'm going to hide. And then I'm going to go to this attached group and I'm going to hide the intricate small snowflake so therefore, you, when I go to make it, you will see the space where that silver snowflake is going to be is not there. Right? So I would put this through my Cricut machine and cut out the white snowflakes. Once I've cut out the white snowflakes, then I would then go back. I would hide my entire group and then unhide the snowflake that I want to cut in silver. Same thing here. I'm going to take this group. I'm going to hide the whole group and then unhide just the snowflake I want to cut out of the silver. So when you go to make it, you'll see that the snowflakes are in the right position. And I'm going to cut this with my silver holographic type of iron-on material. And then I can layer that with my other snowflakes. So therefore the whole design will have the two snowflakes in the correct order and in the right pattern. <coughs> When you're done with this, you can use whatever type of patterns you'd like. Uh, you can use, I used leaves in the fall time. You can use words. Anything that you would like to use an accent on a sleeve pretty much can be done, you know, with ease as long as you use that base shape in order to make it easier for you to line things up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see and be alerted to upcoming video tutorials. Thank you very much.